<laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Today, today begins the process of the transformation of the M3. We got Rafael with us. You guys know him, Mr. Details. Follow him on Instagram. As you guys know, he did take care of the, the G80 recently. He went ahead and did the whole PPF process, um, the whole ceramic coating on there. This thing looks amazing. But today, like I said, we're beginning the whole transformation. As you guys saw, we did the unboxing of the products. And <clears throat> today, he's out here. He's going to go ahead and do a ceramic coating on, on all the carbon fiber parts that are going to be going on the engine bay. And also, he's going to be PPFing and um, doing ceramic coating on, on the front lip. I'm actually going to be doing the install right now. As you guys can see, I already have some of the little parts out. The car's already jacked up in the air. With this slip, honestly, it's really simple to install. Not so difficult as long as you have the right, uh, the right tools. This is the supporting bra uh, bracket that's going to be holding the lip and the little um, the sides of it. So it's very important that we clean up the bumper. As you guys can see, there's 3M that we're going to be removing. So everything needs to be precise. And um, <clears throat> at this point, like I said, he's already got everything um, cleaned up and ready to go for the ceramic coating. As you guys can see, all this is the Eventuri products. Let me go ahead and um, show you guys what I did over here. Um, so I re removed the, the black trim over here and then there's a little screw that holds the, the corner part. So once you guys um, unscrew the, the supporting um, screws that go on the side, you'll get to the screw that holds this part and that would be inside as you guys can see that one right there this is the clip that the screw goes into this is a little eight millimeter screw um it's a little it's a little tough to get in there but if you have a, a little wrench you can definitely do it um this is a <clears throat> this really came in handy um everything else are just clips and ind also includes clips for the for the new uh the lip so everything is going to be simple to install I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue with this. I just finished cleaning up the bottom of the, the bumper. So now I can just go ahead and get this back out again. Um, do the mock-up and then remove the 3M tape. Okay, this this already has one layer of ceramic coating. Setting it dry and then he'll do another another layer of uh, ceramic coating on there. But you guys can already tell the, how, how shiny it looks. You can see the gloss, the weave. This looks amazing. All right, guys, so right now I just went ahead and kind of peeled back some of the 3M protection so that, that way I could go ahead and line everything up. And then once I'm ready to really screw everything on, I'll just peel back the, the little um, protector. Um, but for now, <clears throat> like I said, I just went ahead and cleaned up underneath the, the bumper. We got uh, soapy water and then a, a little bit of alcohol. Um, we definitely want the, the adhesive to stay, stay on the surface. So as you guys can tell. Um, <clears throat> what I did was I removed all the 10 millimeter bolts um, on the bottom. As you guys can see, it's you guys just remove the ones that are just over. Um, now that um, I have everything cleaned up, I'm gonna grab the the plastic <coughs> part. So um, the, the ceramic coating has already been done on all these parts, except for these right here, the original ones. Um, everything else, he already did uh, two coats of ceramic coating. It did get later on the night as, um, as you guys can see, the lip is already on there and he's been PPFing the whole lip. Um, while he's been doing that, I've been kind of just tinkering in the engine bay. Um, since all that's already done, ceramic coated and I do want to put the cover on. I figure I might as well just throw on the intakes while I'm at it. So right now, I just had to do one of the toughest parts and that is to remove the, the turbo inlets for the intakes. 
<clears throat> so make sure that you guys go ahead and swap out all the hardware. Um, again and again, the the bolts are going to be one of the toughest things to get to um, to swap out on the inlets, but um, you can definitely it's it's manageable, it's doable. Once you go ahead and clear everything out of the way, you'll have more room. Um, make sure that you also put the driver's side uh, intake um, inlet onto the clamp over here. That way you guys have enough room. Once you guys have the intake on the passenger side, you guys won't have any room. I also went ahead and loosened up the two 10 millimeter bolts that are, are holding the expansion tank. Once I just loosened up the two tens, I just kind of made sure I was careful routing this wire around it, around the, the support bracket, and then just lift it up from the peg. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just slide the cone in into place over here for the driver's side. I already got the driver's side inlet um, air intake already secured. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lift up the coolant expansion tank as I go ahead and finesse the, the, the intake into place. So, we've got our expansion tank. Take. Just be very patient with it. So you can see it's just you just gotta move it and finesse it around all the components. Once you got the inlet already in place, go ahead and just Put it into your desired location with the logo into place. There you guys go. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this hose right over the intake. Just gotta make sure it's evenly done on, on every single side. Once you guys get that done, then we'll go ahead and we'll resecure the cooling expansion tank. Make sure that the little peg goes into place. You also want to make sure that the, the wire goes underneath the support bracket. Um, guys, put that in. You guys heard that slide and click into place. We'll get a two 10 millimeter bolts, and then we'll go ahead and we'll resecure our expansion tank over here. I'm sorry if uh, the camera is moving too much. I'm just, it's kind of hard, you know, to show you guys, you know, how to do things with one hand. I'm also hoping that I don't drop any of the hardware. That's not a good day. When you drop hardware, because then you have to remove the skid plate and so many of the more components. It really is a pain in the butt. Now that that's already set, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that these clamps are um, set in the direction that I want and now that I got the this this side already secured I'm gonna go ahead and uh, First I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and then we'll do the next the other intake now that our clamps are already set in place Everything's tied down. You guys can see we got a nice beautiful secure intake we'll Go ahead and let me go ahead and uh, tighten that the two tens as well right there Perfect Let's grab the next intake. Let's go ahead and set it into place. What I still haven't done is I haven't set the little um, set pins that they provide. And by they, I mean inventory. Um, they provide you with new pins, um, hardware that they provide. And that's to secure everything a lot better. Um, as well as they also include two um, hex uh, number three size uh, bolts that you go ahead and you secure the intake to the, to the housing. Sure that it's um, the same as my other clamp. No, I'm tight. I'm good to go. Okay. 
What do you guys think about the inventory intakes? That's very nice. What's also gonna look very nice with it is gonna be the engine cover and the battery terminal cover. The battery terminal cover is gonna go right over here and then obviously engine cover. So let's get to the rest of it. Before we go ahead and put our engine cover back on, let's go ahead and reattach the, the wire harness that we went ahead and disconnected to allow us to install the driver's side inlet for the intake. This is the CR Racing Carbon Fiber Battery Terminal Cover. You guys can get this from IND. Check that out. It's 100% dry carbon. It's a beauty. So this same thing applies to this one. We got a peg. We got a grommet. And then we got one guide. And then we got our, where we got to guide it into. Um, Again, it's a little uncomfortable for me to do this uh, just with one hand without damaging anything, especially when you have a nice carbon fiber finish. So I'm going to go ahead and just set my phone down really quickly. Um... All right, guys, I think my battery died while I was installing this piece right there. But again, it's just really about um, just being gentle with it, finesse it in there. Don't don't try to push it in because otherwise you'll go ahead and you'll break off the little pegs that go into the grommets. That's going to that's going to secure it in place. So just be careful with it, be patient. Now that that's already installed, let's, let's go ahead and move on to the main piece. There it is, guys. What do you guys think? We have the inventory intakes, gloss carbon fiber. Then we have the inventory carbon fiber engine cover. Sliplo, honestly, everyone needs to have it in their, um, in their carbon fiber lips. If you guys do have an expensive lip, um, I know that there's uh, aftermarket ones and sometimes the investment for slip load doesn't really, you know, balance out what you spent on the aftermarket part. But if you guys do have an expensive lip that you guys pay over a thousand dollars for, you guys definitely want to make sure you PPF it and then that you also do the slip load. That really gives it an extra protection and it makes the whole lip a lot more rigid um, and strong. So since Rafael just recently installed the lip, I'm just going to go ahead and just clean it up a bit right now. Um, as you guys can see, it's got a little bit of dirt. Um, I'm going to clean the bottom and then I'm going to go ahead and install the slip load. All right, guys. So the slip load's already been installed. As you guys can tell, you guys can't even tell it's already been installed. Not even he can tell it's on. But when you look down here, you guys can see all the protection that we have underneath. And I think I might have just gone a little overboard. But you guys know me. So I have it all over the, the, the carbon fiber lip. And it looks really nice. So let me go ahead and put the car down and then you guys can see what it looks like with the car on the ground. Alright guys, so there we go. Cars on the ground. Slip load's already been installed. Can't even tell it's there, but you know that the lip is protected. That dark knight has been walking all over the car. There's this paw prints. I guess he, he's got to have inspect the the vehicle himself. But um, yeah, let's uh let's continue with the video.
right, so the first step was already done. That's basically just using the pressure washer, soap. The next step is gonna be the two bucket process. And then um, after that, I'll start drying it. I'll clean, I'll vacuum the interior and then I'll take off the wheels and clean every single one individually. Um, it's been a while since I actually taken off the wheels. Um, actually, since the wheels were ceramic coated, they haven't gone off the car. Um, so right now I think it's, it's about due for a really nice cleanup. So let's go ahead and continue with the next, uh, the second step of the washing process and then we'll pick it up after. All right, since we're already like going this far, wheels are already off, we might as well just drop out the spacer. So as you guys can see right now, we have the Future Classic 15 millimeter spacer. And we're gonna go ahead and swap it out for the Future Classic 12 millimeter um, spacers. So this is gonna give us a more of an even stance. Um, this one is wasn't that bad, but for my liking, I would prefer to have the, the wheel just a little more sunken in. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, just remove the the fast the bolts that I have already in place, and uh, we'll go ahead and put new spacers on. Just like that, we have the 12 millimeter spacers already installed, and they're secured with the hardware that Future Classic provides. So the installs have been all completed. We got the inventory intakes already installed in the vehicle. Um, we got the engine cover. We got the battery terminal cover. Um, as you guys can see, we got this beautiful and performance slip with the slip load protection. Um, on top of that, <clears throat> the car was washed. Um, I went ahead and removed all the wheels in order for me to get the best possible clean on, on these beautiful wheels. Went ahead and threw on a little bit of tire dressing. I'm not big on it, but you know what? It really enhances the look of the car. And we went, I also went ahead and I adjusted the 12, 12 millimeter spacer in the rear and I took out the 15. Honestly, I like the way that looks. It looks a lot more better as you, as you can see, it matches perfect with the front. And as you guys can tell, this paint looks amazing in the light. I also put these valve stem covers. Check that out guys. This thing looks just so amazing. I can't wait to take it out tomorrow. There it is. Complete install of the inventory intakes, the inventory engine cover, the CR Racing battery terminal cover. Man, what a transformation. And this is just the beginning. We have more items that we have already here. We're gonna have a few more items that we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, hopefully get in the next few weeks or I'm gonna try next few days, um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but man, that thing looks amazing. And like I said, those spacers really complement the front spacers. This thing is a beauty. All right guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, Go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys um, are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Um, it's gonna help a lot with the build. It's gonna go ahead and help speed things up. Um, the more of you guys sign up, the more I'll be able to definitely get more done to the vehicle. So um, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Turn on your notifications. And I will see you next time. Later.